It's February, the cold season has been going on long enough, let's talk about spring fashion. Hi, my name is Sarah, and welcome to my channel which is all about sewing and styling a handmade wardrobe. I was browsing online one day and I stumbled on this article from Vogue magazine and I will link it down in the description box. But it was an article showing eight street style spring looks and then they had pieces that you could buy to duplicate the outfits. And I thought it would be a really fun exercise to go through each outfit that they showed and try to match it up with sewing patterns. This way we get a little taste of what's going to be on trend for spring and what stylish women are wearing for this upcoming season. So we're going to take it one outfit at a time and I'm going to be sharing with you the sewing patterns you can use to duplicate these looks. But I will not be talking about fabric because fabric is such a personal thing to each individual person. But I'm sure that no matter where you are in the world or your budget, you can probably find similar things to match these looks. So let's get started with outfit number one. This first outfit is titled leopard trench plus white tee plus baggy jeans equals classically catty. Now for this leopard tailored coat, I have chosen No Me 2001, which is a notched collar coat with a tie belt and a midi length. The pattern does not come with any buttons down the front, but you could add them on if you wanted to more closely match the inspiration. This pattern comes in sizes 10 up to 38W. I will be linking all of the patterns down in the description box below, so if you want more information about the sizing, I would definitely check out their website for that information. For the white tee, I went with one of my favorite patterns. It's the Closet Core Tee. It's a free pattern for a boxy short sleeve t-shirt. You can also make it with three quarter sleeves. And the Closet Core Tee has two different lengths, a more cropped length and then a longer length. This pattern comes in sizes zero to 20 and also 14 to 32. And as I said, it is free. I've sewn this pattern three different times myself and I really like it. It's one of my favorite boxy tee patterns. So I would definitely recommend trying it out if you haven't already. Now for the jeans, it has that crisscross waist detail, and so I wasn't able to find a sewing pattern per se, but I did find a tutorial for refashioning a pair of baggy jeans. It's from the blog Schmiggy Reviews DIY Crisscross Jeans. And in the tutorial, they recommend that you start with jeans that are two to three sizes bigger than your natural waist. I haven't ever done anything like this myself. I do have one pair of ready to wear crisscross jeans. And to be honest with you, I don't really like that style on me in particular, but if it's a look you're interested in trying out, it is very trendy. I did look at the tutorial and it looks relatively simple and it would be a good use of an old pair of jeans that doesn't fit you anymore, or you could go to the thrift store. So it could be an economical way to try out a new style. Moving on to outfit number two, which is a car coat plus dainty collar plus swing skirt equals schoolgirl chic. Now starting with the coat, I have chosen the paper cut patterns stacker jacket because it is a boxy cropped jacket that has wide sleeves. If you made it in a wool fabric, it would look very similar to the one in the photo. This pattern comes in sizes one to eight. I've made this pattern once before and I honestly didn't really like it, but I think I might've chosen the wrong size. It is a pattern that I would be willing to give another shot in the future, but the version that I made, I no longer have in my closet. For the sweater, I've chosen the Megan Nielsen Jara. It comes in sizes zero to 20 and also 14 to 30, and it has several different views. To make a sweater that's similar to the one in Vogue, I would make the view that has a curved hem and a round neckline, and I would use a red sweater knit. This is another pattern that I do own and I've made it myself several times. I highly recommend it. It's really popular in the sewing community for a reason. And then for the skirt, I've chosen the Just Patterns Lara skirt. It's a pleated A-line skirt. This pattern was just released, I think last week or two weeks ago. And the sample in the pattern is even also shown in a very similar gray wool. Now the design of the skirt isn't exactly the same as the one in Vogue, but it has a very similar ladylike feel. This pattern comes in sizes 34 to 60. Now for the frilly collar, the Vogue look recommends a white button down shirt. But in my opinion, if we're talking about spring style, maybe you don't wanna layer an entire shirt underneath the sweater. So I have chosen instead the Tilly and the Buttons oversized collar, which is a free pattern. It is more of a feminine style that looks more similar to the one that the woman is wearing in the street style picture. And you could make it in a white cotton or a broidery on glaze. And the nice thing about the collar is that you can layer it with many different outfits to get different looks. And this pattern only comes in one size. Outfit number three, leather bomber plus low rise trousers plus chunky dad sneaks equals easy off duty. 
For the jacket, I have chosen Vogue 1877, which is a classic oversized bomber jacket, and you could make it in a leather or a faux leather if you want it to be similar to the original. This pattern is a unisex pattern, and it comes in sizes small up to 3XL. The next pattern is Vogue 1832. It's a zip up jacket. And although the one in the picture has a funnel neck, this pattern comes with either a short collar or a hood. It's not exactly the same as the one in the Vogue article, but it's pretty similar. And you could very easily add on patch pockets instead of kangaroo pockets. And I would use a sweatshirting fabric with ribbing. This pattern comes in sizes extra small up to 2XL. Now for the pants, I have chosen the Wardrobe By Me cargo pants. Now the reason I chose this particular pair is because it is a low rise, loose fitting pant. And it also comes with a straight leg. You could easily just leave off the cargo pockets and make it out of something like a suiting to be more similar to the one in the photo. And if you used a black fabric, that would automatically make it look more dressy. This pattern comes in sizes 26 to 42. Now I would definitely not make this style because I am just not a low rise girl, but if you've been thinking about trying it out or if you're short waisted, it could be a good pattern for you. Outfit number four is denim maxi plus yellow pop plus sporty shoes equals quirky cool. Now I couldn't find a denim skirt that was exactly like the one in the photo, but I chose the Style Arc Sally jean skirt, which is a classic denim skirt with an A-line shape the pattern is meant to be knee length, but you could easily extend it down to be midi length and just maintain that A-line shape as you extend. This pattern comes in sizes four to 30. The next part of the look is Style Arc Phoenix. Similar to the one in the photo, it has some interesting seaming details, even though it's not identical and it's very oversized and long. I also thought it was interesting that in the illustration on Style Arc, it shows it modeled with a skirt, which is similar to what is shown in the Vogue picture. This pattern also comes in Australian sizes four to 30. Now to complete the look, I've chosen the Pattern Scout Cozy Jacket, which is a collared zip up jacket with a boxy fit. You could easily change out the pockets to be rectangular. Now the jacket that the woman is wearing in the street style photo is different from the Vogue version, but you could go back to the bomber jacket from the previous outfit if you prefer that look instead. The Cozy Jacket comes in sizes zero to 30. Outfit number five is a shacket plus baggy denim plus ballet flats equals tomboy meets girl. Now the jeans I have chosen are the I am patterns sunshine jeans because they are a baggy fit jean with a slight barrel shape. This pattern comes in sizes 34 to 52 in PDF and 36 to 46 in paper. I have made this pattern once before for myself. I actually made the wrong size, so they're a little bit too big for me, but I would seriously consider going back and trying to make them again because I do like the look of the pants. They're a little bit different than everything else that I own, and I think that they're a fun style for spring. For the jacket, I've chosen the Friday Pattern Company Ilford jacket, which is a boxy workwear jacket that has a collar. Now the Ilford jacket has buttons instead of a zipper, but we've already covered some other similar designs that have zippers, so you could easily substitute one of those instead. The Ilford jacket comes in sizes extra small up to 7X. And then I did find a bag pattern that is similar to the one in the photo. It's from I Think So, and it's called the Elena Hobo Bag. The shape and size of the bag are quite similar to the version in the Vogue article. You could make it in a black leather or faux leather. It closes with a magnetic snap and it has an interior zipper pocket, and it looks relatively simple to sew. Bigger slouchy bags are making a comeback, so it might be time to dust off your machine and make a new one for yourself this year. And this pattern only comes in one size. Moving on to outfit number six, it's a matching set plus suede slippers plus sleek clutch equals upgraded pajamas. Now the street style outfit is really unique and I couldn't really find a pattern that duplicated that, but for the Vogue versions, I did find some really close matches. For the top, I chose the Avid Seamstress, the drop sleeve top. It's a loose fitting drop shoulder top, just like what it says. And it has a button loop closure in the back. If you made it in a satin, it would be very similar to the version in Vogue. And this is a free pattern if you sign up for their newsletter. It comes in sizes six to 22. For the pants, I chose Simplicity 9149. It's a wide leg elastic waist pant, but it has a flat front like the version in the Vogue article. The pattern also has side seam pockets and it would look good in satin. This pattern comes in sizes eight to 26. 
Now the Vogue shows the Totem tea lock bag, which is a very unique style and shape of bag, so I was not able to find a similar pattern. However, if you look at the modeled photo, the woman is wearing a very, very simple zippered clutch that has a contrasting red zipper. You could pretty much use any kind of zipper pouch pattern to duplicate that look. I have chosen one from a blog. It's the Girl Inspired Zippered Clutch Tutorial. It is a free tutorial and it comes in one size. I haven't tried this myself, but there's a million different tutorials out there for a zippered pouch. So just pick your favorite one and use a contrasting zipper. Outfit number seven is a pop of red plus leather separates plus bandana equals midnight cowgirl. For the pants, I have chosen the Vicky Sews Candice pants, which is a pattern for leather pants with a wider leg. Now the pants on the model are a little bit more of a wide leg, whereas the Candice is slightly more of a flare leg, but you could always reshape the legs on the thigh if you wanted them to be a little bit looser. This pattern comes in sizes 34 to 52, and Vicky Sews does include different height brackets. I did receive this pattern for free when I was a brand ambassador for Vicky Sews, but I haven't made it yet, so I can't really comment on the quality of the pattern, but it does look like a pretty good option and it's definitely shown as being sewn in faux leather, so that's why I wanted to pick that one versus a different, more standard pants pattern. For the button up, I've chosen the assembly line oversized shirt. It's a very oversized drop shoulder shirt, similar to the one that the street style person is wearing, and it could easily be worn as a jacket. It even comes with inseam pockets, but you could add patch pockets instead if that's your preference. This pattern comes in sizes extra small, up to 3XL. For the tee, I have chosen Simplicity 9337. It's a very oversized unisex t-shirt. I have sewn this pattern before a couple of times for my husband and he really likes it. It comes in sizes extra small up to extra large. And I chose this t-shirt pattern because it has really wide sleeves, it's very similar to the one in the Vogue article. And lastly, for the accessory, I've chosen another free tutorial. It's from Beginner Sewing Projects, How to Sew a Bandana. This would be a really quick, easy, simple project, and it's a good one for using up your scraps. Outfit number eight is a classic trench plus a gray sweatshirt plus bootcut jeans equals effortless elegance. For the coat, I've chosen McCall's 8246. It's a very similar trench coat pattern that's double-breasted and has raglan sleeves. It has a tie belt and it has the little sleeve belts. It comes in sizes 6 to 24. For the sweatshirt, I've chosen NH Patterns Heather Sweater. This is another free pattern. It's a very simple drop shoulder sweatshirt that has ribbing details. This one comes in sizes 4 to 18 and also 16 to 32. And then finally for the pants, I've chosen the Sew Over It Ultimate Jeans because it comes with a flare option. And it's a high-waisted classic 70s flare jean, which I think is a perfect match for the street style photo. This pattern comes in sizes 6 to 20 and also 18 to 30. So I hope this video has given you a little bit of inspiration on the kinds of things that you might want to sew for the spring season. If you want even more outfit inspiration, watch this video next.